Bots. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone had a great day and I hope you are ready to hear an earful. Um, those of you who are Platteville fans or have been keeping up with them, you know that this season has been one of the craziest ones so far. Although all of the seasons really keep me on my toes and keeps me interested, this one has been by far the most bizarre. And Barry and his wife, ex-wife should I say, Kim, are getting a divorce and that's been mostly part of what the show was about. However, that's not where the drama was coming from this season. The season was mostly coming from drama from Olivia just trying to figure out ways to regain that respect for Kim. Through the season, of course, she did regain some sort of respect for Barry, but she said she did not have the urgency to mend things with Kim just because she felt like um, Kim was the one who was telling Barry what to do. And it's so she says, triggering when she gets around Kim. So I did want to let you all know that um, Olivia and Ethan have been married. And this season, Ethan has really been checking out. Um, he doesn't act like he is married. He just kind of lets Olivia do what she wants to do. He's not really sticking up for her much this season, rightfully so. And he's just kind of done with her with her mess over the course of um a couple of months uh olivia has had some projects out of oh. the country uh, her and ethan they did have a little bit of a vacation in paris and um it seemed like they were doing pretty good however all of this that they were doing was before the show actually aired Keep in mind, these confessionals, no one actually knows what anyone is saying in the confessionals until it actually airs. So I don't think anybody in the Platt family accepted what Olivia was saying about Kim. And it just was very, very, very disturbing to hear all the things that uh, Olivia was saying about Kim. However, she never gave a real reason of why she feels so harshly about her. So about an hour ago, every sibling that's an adult and has social media made a statement and here is what it states. We as a family have decided not to be divided anymore. Now I do want to say initially I thought they were talking about Barry and Kim not getting a divorce anymore. But let me continue. There is a lot more to the story than what you all have seen on the show. While we understand that this is a TV show and we are not in control of how the show is edited, we are actually a family that is full of love and respect for each other. With that being said, we as a family are not going to sit back and watch as our family is driven apart. For example, we wanted to clear up something that Olivia said during the last episode. What Olivia said about her mom using Ethan's credit card towards her own purchases was not the full story. Mom and Ethan had a business agreement in which Ethan earned a good bit of money and both parties were aware of any transactions that were made. Our mom should have not had the opportunity to defend herself and tell her side of the story. I'm sorry, they said she should have. Some of us kids have been rebels and are finding our own place in life and are very thankful to be supported and unconditionally loved by our family, no matter what choices we make or who we become. Please remember that we are human and we do make mistakes. Nobody is perfect and we continue to learn and grow with every day. Not one person is at fault. We also have younger siblings that are at very vulnerable ages and this is not fair nor healthy for them. We've come to the realization that unless we speak up, this cycle will never end. We ask that you have compassion for us and understand that not everything you see on the show is as it actually is in real life. Thank you for your continued support. Family first with love, the Plath family. So I will say this, Ethan, 
Um, Lydia and Mariah posted this uh, on their Instagram pages. However, Ethan, he's not very active on social media. He did not post anything of that sort. So I'm pretty sure they had a family discussion. They didn't like what they saw. And they were like, you know what? We're going to make a statement. We're not backing down. You're not going to trash our mom like this. And Olivia has trashed their mom pretty much the entire time of the show. Um, Kim, she's not said one negative thing about Olivia besides, oh, I didn't want, you know, them to, you know, ruin what the little girls already have learned. And, you know, that's just her being a mom. She's never said anything negative. So here's my thing. I see growth in Kim. Kim is not innocent, of course. We all know that. We've watched the show play out, but she is working on herself and you can see that. Even when she got so excited that Ethan and this was this past episode, she got so excited when Ethan actually hugged her neck. She was like, and Ethan, you know, he gave me a hug. It was, it was nice. I mean, I like that. I like that bond. And I have always said, and I've even written it on her post, nobody can come between family, no matter if, and if it does, they're going to always resent you for that. If you were the cause of the family divide, you will always be resented. So with that being said, a few days ago, Mariah and um, Olivia made some, you know, quotes that were not really direct. It was indirect about working on themselves and, you know, people show their true colors. And, you know, I didn't think anything about it, but it looks like things are getting pretty serious and the family is getting pretty fed up and I don't blame them at all. So tell me what you guys think the ending result is going to be. Do you think that, you know, this is going to draw now a wedge between Ethan, Olivia against the family? Or do you think, you know, Ethan and Olivia are just probably going to call it quits? I don't know. I can't say. I'm all for marriage. I'm all for, you know, people sticking it out. But this just seems very toxic. And I think Olivia has a lot of soul searching to do before she can continue on in a marriage. So I do appreciate you listening and watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much and have a great day.